Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about threads in Java. So if there is an interview, they may ask a few questions about threads from you. So such as uh, how to create threads, uh, what are the ways to create threads and what are the reasons for creating creating threads in such ways and uh, what is the method in thread uh, to write your implementation and how to run a thread and they may even ask you to do a thread implementation. So we will try to find answers for these questions in the video. So what I will do is here I'm in my main class uh, and my main method is here. So I'm going to create a new class uh, which I'm going to run as a thread. So I will name it as, as uh, my thread. So if I want my class to run as a thread class, uh, what I have to do is I have to extend a uh, thread class from Java. Okay, so if I if my class extends thread class, it is going to run as a, a new thread when I'm uh, running this class. So here, if I, I have to write my implementation, so what I will do is I will say public void run. And within this method, I'm going to write my implementation. So as soon as I write the run method, uh, you can see there is a symbol appears here. So if I click this symbol, you can see we are in the Java thread class and there is already a run method in the parent class. So all we have to do is overriding that run method and we have to write our implementation inside this run method. So I will say at override and now my, our child class is overriding the parent thread class run method. So here all I want to do is I simply want to uh, write a follow and there I will print the numbers from 0 to 4. And also um, in between each printing I will create a hundred millisecond uh, time delay so we can do is by uh, using thread.sleep method so then uh, if I am using thread to sleep uh, it will say to use uh, try and catch so I will use try catch and I will simply uh, write the method within try catch to handle any exceptions so now I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new thread class my thread class and I'm going to uh, see how to uh, do this make it happen okay so I'll go to my main method and I will simply uh, write my thread uh, I will give it give the name as let's say my thread one my thread one and I will say new my thread okay so and if I want to run uh, the my implementation that I wrote within run method what I have to do is I have to call a method called start from this uh, object okay so when I call start method uh, it will simply uh, uh, call my implementation within this run method so I will run it and now I can see the numbers from 0 to 4 are uh, being uh, printed as expected but this is not enough because uh, the purpose of thread is running multiple threads parallelly right so I'll create one more thread name it as my thread 2 and I'll say it as new my thread and I will again uh, call the start method from my thread 2 right and I will run it so as soon as I run you can see the number 0 and uh, numbers are being printed 0 to 2 0 to 4 but parallelly one to each other right so both threads are parallel run, parallel running to each other so we can see the zero from the first thread and also the second thread then one from the first thread and the oh, and also from the second thread so the threads are running parallelly to each other so we don't have any guarantee on the pattern of numbers being printed so this is the proof of that so since we have done this um, what i will do is uh, my main program is running in, in main thread right so i will simply um, throw a, a new exception just to indicate something I will let's say throw a new runtime exception one second I'm wrong and run it here you see uh, the runtime exception, exception is being, th being, being thrown but still nothing happens to my threads threads are running separately without being affected by the thread exception right so that means all these three threads that means my two threads and my main thread are running separately independent to each other 
Oh, then now um, one, one more thing is um, um, as we have seen here um, as here I have created my my thread by extending my uh, thread class so um, uh, instead of doing that we have another way to create threads the second way is instead of extending my thread class what I can do is I can implement runnable interface so if I implement the runnable interface uh, again I am able to create a new thread from this class I'm able to run this cl class as a thread class so the rest is same here also we are doing the same thing nothing is changing just this is changing so now um, you can see when I call the start method now it is not working right there is an error so what the meaning of that is we can't directly call start method in this scenario so what we have to do is we have to write one new uh, line so we have to say thread let's say um, my thread my thread okay let's say thread for one and I will say new thread and I will pass my thread class within this okay and then again for the second one let's say thread for two and I will say new thread and I will say my thread too isn't it so both of these runnable implemented threads are being passed inside these two lines okay and then the start method should be called from these so thread for one and thread for two this way the error has gone and you can see the outcome as we expected you see our main exception is being thrown we don't care about it and the threads are running as expected right independent of each other all the threads so this is also one way of uh, implementing the thread class uh, implementing uh, a new thread so one one thing is uh, the benefit of uh, going for runnable um, implementation is uh, we can uh, allow our class to extend some other class extend some other class because um, if we have uh, the thread class being extended by my uh, class the problem is we can't extend any other threads because Java doesn't allow multiple inheritance. But if we uh, implement runnable interface, we can also extend some other classes. So that is the benefit of using runnable interface instead of thread class. But the problem is you have to write a few more lines here. So I think we have obtained all the answers uh, for these questions regarding threads. So if you like the video, um, just uh, try giving a like or subscribe the channel. And I will see you in the next video, guys.